I always think that there's two types of players, players who love to win and players who hate to lose. Which one are you? Uh, I'm neither. I'm meaning? neither. Uh, meaning that, you know, I, I, I play to, to, um, to figure things out. I play to learn something, right? Because I think if you, if you play with, um, with a fear of failure or you play with um, uh, the will to win or that supersedes your fear of failure, I think it's a weakness either way, right? Because if you, if you play with the fear, fear of failing, you'll have the pressure on yourself to play, you know, to capitulate to that fear. If you play with the sense of I want to win, I want to win, then you have the fear of what happens if you don't. But if you find common ground in the middle, in the center, then it doesn't matter. You're unfazed by either, right? And that enables you to really just stay in the moment, stay connected to it, and not feel anything other than what's in front of you. So you know, I try to just be dead center. So a, a lot of people in general are afraid of failure. How did you become one of those people who doesn't seem to be afraid of failing? Failures, it, it doesn't exist. It's not existent. What the hell does that mean? Seriously, what does failure mean? It, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. It's a figment of your imagination. What does Why it mean? You pulling the Jedi mind trick no, on me I'm right serious. now. I'm like, like, no, does it like, exist? No, I'm serious. Look, I, I'm trying to think, like, how can I explain it? So, uh, let's, let's use happy endings, right? And then we can relate this to failure. Why it's not existing. Like, you know, everybody talks about, like, everybody wants a happy ending, right? Now let's go to the reality of it, right? Let's look at a fairy tale story. Let's look at Snow White. Mm -hmm. She gets a happy ending. She finds Prince and whatever she goes on. She lives happily ever after. Well, I call bullshit on that because two months later, the fact is they had an argument and he's sleeping on the couch, <laughs> right? So the point is, the point is the story continues. Mm -hmm. The story continues. So if you fail on Monday, the only way it's a failure on Monday is if you decide to not progress from that, right? So, that, so to me, that's why failure is not existent. Because, you know, if I fail today, I, okay, I'm going to learn something from that failure and I'm going to try again on Tuesday. And I fail and I'm going to try again on Wednesday. So it doesn't exist. You know what? Should my ratings go on the tank? That's exactly what I'm going to say to the bosses. Hey, it doesn't exist. Yeah, but you know what? We should try again on Thursday. If your ratings go on the tank, and, and, you know, which they won't, but if they did, you had learned a valuable lesson. You had learned a bunch of ways of how not to make a show that sucks. So, so, then, so, so then the next one would be better than the last one, right? So are you telling me then, let's just say all the career statistics that you've compiled, they all still exist, um, still play for the Lakers, still, and all of that still happens. If you finished your career without a championship, you would not have looked at that as a failure. No, I would have looked at it as being extremely disappointed because I had a dream and I had goals that I wanted to accomplish, right? And if I don't accomplish those goals, I have to ask myself why, right? And so, so from my pos um, position, the reason why I would not have accomplished those things is um, poor leadership, um, failure to communicate properly with my teammates to put them in positions to be successful, um, lack of preparation. You know, all those things would be reasons why I don't win, right? So now, if that was the case, and in my career, I have to sit and I have to analyze that. And then as I move and I evolve, you know, post basketball into business or whatever, those same weaknesses are going to re reveal themselves there, right? So if I don't learn from that, I'm going, I'm going to struggle here too, right? So I can take those situations and learn from those and have them, you know, uh, make me a better person later in life. But if I don't take that stuff and apply that someplace else, then that is. That's failing, which to me is the, the worst possible thing you could ever have is to stop and to not learn.